Grey Ormond Street is a great place to treat Marwa and Safa. We're very used to dealing with rare and complex things here. This was a twin pregnancy and we should have had two separate babies at the end of it. But for some reason, a part of the babies remained joined up together. And the thought really is that we want to untwine them, separate them out in a, in a small staged fashion rather than trying to do one big operation. And then there are all the practical things. The twins are joined together at the head, so they need two anaesthetics. It's quite difficult to move them around. Operating tables aren't designed for two people. Looking after them on the ward afterwards, can they breathe, can they feed? In order to protect the twins and operate on them, there has to be a lot of very careful planning. The trick then is team working, because if you've got a problem that you've just divided into 20 or even 30 steps, you then need to make sure that everybody in the team knows exactly what their role is and the steps, the smaller steps are done in a sequential order, in a safe fashion, so the whole composite problem is solved. What they need is a period of rehabilitation, because if you can imagine their chronological age, they're now two years of age, but these babies have never crawled, they've never sat up, they've never done a lot of the things that we take for granted with, with regular children. So they almost need to be taught how to do all of those things starting at age two, rather than starting at age two months. Our aim is to get both of them through as healthy, happy children who can go on and lead uh, fulfilling lives.